In Chicago in the early 1900s, children were required to go to school only to age 14. Illinois did have child labor laws. How many hours could a 14-year-old work for wages? The answer may surprise young people today. It was 48 hours a week. It was in this environment that R. R. Donnelly undertook a pioneering step in its industry. Recognizing that a well-trained workforce would offer competitive advantage, it launched an innovative formal apprentice program designed to educate and train master craftspeople for its printing operations. The program combined rigorous classroom sessions in advanced high school subjects, such as English and mathematics, with practical printing training. Conducted in special classrooms in selected areas of its printing operations, the program would award participants with both a high school education and exceptional job training, virtually assuring graduates of employment as they completed this multi-year program. Among the skills apprentices were taught was typesetting. Before there were fonts, there were pieces of metal type, each representing a letter or other character. A typesetter would stand at a table and select the characters that spelled the words in a book, magazine, catalog, or other publication. Each small letter, known as a minuscule, was kept close at hand, in a box with slots for each character. The capital letters were kept in a box that was inclined. So a young person setting type would reach into the lower case for small letters and the upper case for capitals which is why you refer to upper and lowercase characters today, more than a hundred years later. Once public education policy made American high school attendance an option for all students, R. R. Donnelly discontinued the reading, writing, arithmetic part of its apprentice program. But today, it continues to offer exceptional training, including innovative computer-based training programs to the craftspeople it develops.